Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 18 and let's play Golden Sun The Lost Age, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we're still in Garo and it's actually daytime, so now let's go talk to Maha. Ah, you came. Uh, yes, I did. I've been waiting for you. Would you mind telling me a little more about werewolves? You want to know the reason we possess the power to transform into beasts? Uh, well, I, uh, actually, yes. Do you find it strange that we can change our shapes? Well, um, yes. But surely changing one's shape is not really all that unusual. What are you getting at? Think about the caterpillar for a moment. When the time is right, does it not transform into a beautiful butterfly? Well, yes! It's only natural! Then it has sex and dies, the end. And the pill bug, bug and hedgehog? Do they not change their shoes, I mean shapes, to protect themselves? I have heard of these creatures, yes! And many amphibians possess the power to change color at will, correct? In light of all this, do you mean to tell me you find werewolves so abnormal? Uh, well, to be honest, I hadn't thought of it that way before. Perhaps you silly did not give it enough thought. How insulting! I, sir, I'm a scientist! Indeed, a scientist? That is impressive. I spent a great deal of time thinking about werewolves. For a time, I even felt cursed to have been born a werewolf. But after taking a more objective look at nature, I realized that weaker species have evolved I mean, survived by evolving, by transforming. Don't you agree? Think about it for a moment. Without changing their bodies with weapons and armor, humans would be very weak creatures indeed. I believe that evolving into werewolves is just one way for humanity to survive. But that's... Of course, there's no way I can prove this theory. Can Mythbusters do it? But I felt that our ability to use Whirlwind was evidence of this. Whirlwind? Why? I had thought only the people of Garo could use Whirlwind. It was a gift known only to werewolves, to Garo's pack. And that only a chosen few could use Reveal. But now, I find that you too can use these. What does it all mean? Why are you able to use Whirlwind, and what is an adept? Master Maha, do you know of a continent called Angara? It lies far north of the Eastern Sea. Angara? In the middle of Angara, there is a peak called Mount Aleph. Mount Aleph? That is true. Our legends say this peak has stood since this world began. Yeah, we all know what happened there. If Mount Aleph does exist, then perhaps our legends are true. It does exist. These two hail from the village at the base of Mount Aleph, a village called Vale. They come from Mount Aleph? Incredible. And they are both adepts, and while their powers may vary, everyone from Vale is an adept to a certain degree. Just not as good as us. Then, does that not make them like us in Garo? In Vale, the myths say that Mount Aleph itself gave birth to the Adepts. This is not what the legends of Garou tell us. As a people, they are quite gifted, but it goes far beyond that. The mystical stones on Mount Aleph, the Synergy Stones, they are closely linked to the powers of the townsfolk. Synergy Stones, you say? If there were smaller stones in Garo, it might explain your powers as well. And what manner of stones are these Synergy Stones? You've seen them, Maha! 
The shining stone at the heart of Aaron's Rock! I know the stone you speak of, but... Aaron's Rock is quite far from Garo. I don't see how it could affect the people here. I wonder... Could it be the wind? Maybe. You probably figured it out for yourself already, Felix. There were strong winds blowing within Aaron's Rock. Those winds would carry far. Carry? Carry what? Ugh! You're so dense! The power of the Synergy Stone! How is that possible? How could the stone's power be carried on the wind? Do not belittle the power of the wind! Given time, the wind can grind great mountains down to sand. I mean, the wind at Eris Rock was strong enough to blow us off the ground! So why couldn't the wind carry particles of the stone all the way to Garo? She's right! Those particles in the Synergy Stone must be charged with its power. This explains why your Synergy is weaker than that of Vale's people. You've been exposed to smaller particles. The wind patterns might also affect who among us in Garo can use Whirlwind. Of course, this is all mere conjecture, but it does offer us some clues. Thank you, um... It's Sheba! I'm pleased to meet you! Oh! Haven't we given you our names, Master Maha? I am Creighton! This is Jenna. And this is the hero who suddenly can't talk as soon as he became the leader, Felix. He only responds in yeses and noes, so... though. You must permit me to thank you for all you've done. No, no, please. We don't need any thanks. Uh, something on your mind? That's too bad. I was going to give you this. Gimme! It's a Ginny! A Ginny? Is that what you call them? When he is with you, he adds to your power. He is very helpful. Uh, we know this! I suppose you'll be continuing your journey now? Yes. So you intend to travel by sea? That is a long journey. In that case, I think you will get more use out of this Ginny than I will. Uh, yeah! Unless you decide to join us. You're not a party member. There, Jupiter, Ginny, Ether. Another Ginny! Talk about lucky! This is a great gift! We are quite thankful! You don't need to thank me. Just take care on your travels. Good luck with the... werewolf thing, Maha! Well, Felix, we must be going now. Alright, see you later! Ah, we finally got ourselves another Ginny. But I'm not giving that to Felix. Ah, what the hell, is trade. There, you don't learn anything new, but your stats go up. So Sour will go to Felix. Wait, how many Mercury Ginny? Oh yeah, we got two. That's right, I gave one to Jenna. Why'd I go that way? So yeah, looks like we're done with Garo for now. Now we have to head all the way back west. Damn the phone again! Time out. Well, that's two straight Golden Sun Lost Age videos that got interrupted by a phone call. Anyways, let's continue. Oh yeah, that's right. You probably don't recognize me in my human form. I was in the cave with Maha. I was that little werewolf. I'm the reason you can stay in our village and we don't have to wear hoods. Well, somebody's feeling a bit too cocky. Wait a minute. Does that little dirt patch that's leading to the cave look like a middle finger to you? Kinda does. That's just rude. 
Maha said you were the only outsiders we could share our secret with. So, does it bother you that we're all werewolves? Not really. Wow! You guys really are different from the others. Most people run away screaming or even grab their weapons. Well, duh, what do you expect? I hear tell from Master Maha that you guys are special, too. We don't have to hide our secret from you any longer. That's good, I guess. So now we can actually leave. Okay, so since I gotta head all the way back to around Madra, I'm gonna meet you there because it's just another tedious track that you've already seen. Be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm fully rested too. Just made a little pit stop in Madra. Okay, where we need to go is actually to the west around here. Let's go. We're gonna head over to Gondawin Cliffs because that's where the Kimbombo went. Oh, well heads, please. Easy to smash these guys. They're just easy pickings. Not even worth the extra experience. Which way do I want to go? Do I want to go... Yeah, I think I want to go down and cross the bridge. I'm sure that's a good enough. That'll take me west. So yeah, we're finally heading back to Gondolin, which is where Golden Sun 1 ended. We're just in a different part of the continent. Like in the southern part. Woof, woof! Uh, are you trying to tell me something? Dig here, you dig! Roof! Um, scoop? Okay! Oh! We just created a little alternate route! In fact, that's the route we need to take in order to get ahead. Let me check around this way first. Shiba, whirlwind. I see a mushroom over there, just how am I going to get it? What's in this cave? Uh, nothing! I think this is the cave where you run into the Kimbabo the first time. But either way, there's nothing there now. Just a bunch of animal remains. Perhaps they were having dinner. And didn't put the fire out. In order for me to progress to the other side, I'm going to need this. Okay, do I want to go that way? Well, no, I can't. Because I can't cut trees in this game. Uh, looks like I'm going the right way so far. All the other paths are dead ends. Up oh, here's some new enemies. Wild Gorilla. Damn, Donkey Kong really let himself go. And the attack with Rob Wild Ransack, too. That's very tough. Let's try it on Mad Blast. Alright, Jenna, you know what to do. Yeah! Oh, extra experience there compared to the past fights. Well, they are a lot tougher, so what do you expect? Ooh, Mars Ginny! Now, how do I reach it? So obviously I took the right path. If I went wrong, then I obviously would have had to go back. Something tells me I'm gonna need to move that. There. Now let us press onward. Gotta do some stone hopping. What fun! Uh, did I go the right way? No, I didn't. Looks like I gotta hop somewhere else. It's not a Golden Sun game without stone hopping puzzles. Just isn't. Unfortunately, you're going to hear that geyser from the other side the whole time. No matter where you're standing, you're gonna hear it. You could be all the way to the west side, and that geyser from the east side will still be heard. Oh, Wolfkin Cub gets a free attack. Isn't that peachy? What the hell? Just two hits. And Jenna can finish it off, because that's also weak against fire. Two out of three enemies you find here are weak against fire. 
The other one is weak against wind. I believe it's called a wyvern chick. We'll probably run into that later. It tends to run like that. Go this way first. Yeah, I like to get to that Ginny. And we don't see that Wyvern chick yet. Ooh, fell asleep. I like that. Well, it is a Hypno Sword, so what do you expect? Just nice to see it kick in. Ooh, Felix at level 14 and Master Quake Spear. I'm liking where this is going. This is not the path of the Ginny. Just a sleep bomb. That's pathetic. Wait, I came from there, but what if I just climb that? Did I just take that path before? Okay, flash ants are new too, apparently. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. A crit helps. That doesn't, but it doesn't matter. I think I came from this way, did I? Yeah, yeah, I did come from this way. Duh! Now there's the Wyvern check, right there. Oh, they're not that tough. So we don't need to go that way, instead I'll just climb down and go through. What the hell? That wasn't long until we had another battle. Oh, now Jenna's at level 14. Alright. Sheba's gonna eventually catch up. I see a rock, but it looks like I can do something with it, but not yet. I think this is the way I need to go for the Ginny. I wanna get that first. I mean, you can easily understand why. There it is. But one of Donkey Kong's retard babies has to interrupt me. It's so hateful. Okay, before I go on, I'm gonna need to fully heal everyone. This one might be trouble. Definitely saving in case it runs away on the first move. Alright, Mars Ginny, you're going down. Start with Echo. Uh, fog. Blitz. Aha! Stunned! Perfect! That's a nice setup. Now you're gonna be much easier to catch up with. This ain't Pokemon! Ragnarok, Leash Nereid, and Plasma. I think that should be enough. Still can't move. Gotcha! Now Sheba's at level 14 and mastered Storm Ray. Oh, things are starting to look up. Yes, they should. Come. Give me heat stroke. I'll give you the gin as a nice little offering. Okay, so Kindle can increase all allies' attack. That's very damn good. That'll come in handy for long battles. I think I can get to that mushroom. Did I come from here? No, no, no not necessarily. Damn it, I'm getting the mushroom. There it is. Oh, it's a laughing fungus. Okay, it doesn't really have much use. It's just rare and suspicious. But I could give it to that old man in Madra. I doubt he'll take it, but you know, it'll be nice to have. I'll deliver it to him on the way back, but first I'm gonna get business done in the West. That's the game plan. That's all I can do for now. Wait a minute. There could be something else I can do. No, no, no. That's just gonna take me back. 
I had Frost, this would have been a nice shortcut. But alas, I do not have it. Therefore, I'm gonna have to go the long way. Isn't this fun? That's a cannon for you, and Shiba, you attack this one. Perfect, you got a crit. Shiba is the crit commander! Yeah! Well, that's right, I gotta go west, duh. Go behind the tree, kill the flash ant. The sacred feather is broken, it's not working. My encounter rate has not changed. I am disappointed. At least I can't have encounters on a tightrope. That would suck. Can you imagine battling on a tightrope in this game? It just looks so awkward. Okay, now we finally made it to Gondolin. Okay, my destination is around here to the north. But there's a Mercury Ginny around here on this old forest. I'm gonna stop the video in the next part. I'm gonna go for the Ginny first and then head on up. See ya, everyone.